Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. We are live. Welcome to my channel. Lots of people coming in already. I see Patricia, Denise, Tina, Cindy, Jose, Saskia, Andrea, Carla, Deborah. Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, Ivor. Hi, Ans. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Thursday evening live. Well, it's been a while. Uh, busy, busy, busy. You know how it goes. And actually, tonight's going to be chaotic because my stuff is literally everywhere because I'm I've done uh, a workshop last week. I've done a make, uh, not a make and take. What do you call it? Demo. Then I had to unpack my stuff again and prep for the fair that we've got this weekend. So that's going to be fun, 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 fun. But yeah, my stuff is spread everywhere and half is packed, half is not packed because I have to do the live tonight. Um, but I wanted to go live anyway. So hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, lots of people coming in already. That's good because we're going to have some little sneak peeks tonight as well. Well, a little bit, quite a big one, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out while we go. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to be making uh, three mixed media ATC cards. Uh, you know I love my mixed media, but this is different than you're used to from me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give people some time to come in, but how's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? Hi, Johan. Hi, Anya. Hi, Belinda. So let's switch the cameras around, shall we? Because uh, then uh, we can have the first little sneak. Well, I'm being cheeky now, but yeah, I thought it was funny. There we go. This is the sneak. This is what the new thingy comes in. Hmm. Any ideas on what it's going to be? Somebody wants to bet? You can't win anything, but yeah, just for fun. What do you think it's going to be? Yeah, impressive, right, that eclipse? No, ah, you're close, Robin. You're close. Ah, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. Well, we'll get to that. First things first, I'm going to be playing with ADC cards. I'm going to be making ADC cards and I'm going to use some tea bags. I've got them here. I don't drink tea. I'm a coffee guy and I've got loads of tea, but I don't drink it. So I just bought these bags that are, you can fill them with your own tea and then just hang it in, your, in the water and let it soak. But of course, this is pure white. So what I did, I took those out and turned it into these, just using sprays. Tea dye, uh, I thought that was appropriate, tea dye, both in, um, yeah, exactly, yeah, you're, you're spot on. We'll get to that, we'll get to that later on. Um, Tea dye uh, in both oxide and normal formula I used there. Um, I used some vintage photo, uh, even some ground espresso. Okay, I know that's coffee, but I wanted some darkness in there. And in these two, I used a tiny bit of picked raspberry just to give it some fruity color. Hello, Janet, welcome. This one I kept more tea-like and grungy, and then I just peeled them open carefully and then you get this. So that's what we're going to be using today. So I'm going to put those two aside. I've got some lace that I'm going to use. I've got these ATC cards that I'm going to use. I've got some very old paper that I'm going to use. So without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? Yeah, they're cool. Um, and just I thought, well, just because I don't drink tea, I, that doesn't mean I can't use tea bags, right? So let me start with this one. I'm going to peel off the backing. I've got a double-sided adhesive from Elizabeth Craft Designs at the front of this. And this is an old technique that I saw Els doing uh, many, many times. And I just thought I'd give it a go. So I'm just going to see, well, I'm going to tear this part off. Don't overthink it, David, just rip it apart. And I'm going to stick that on there. Oh, this is still too big. Yeah. I like that. I will just put it on there. Like so. Take my release sheet and press that down. A 
like so. Then um, I'm going to take that old paper, that piece of paper. I'm just going to rip a bit off. Stick that on there and I will trim it off from the sides later on. Let me just take my release sheet again and press that down. Teabag ATCs, exactly. Well, grungy, um, not just teabag. Grungy, how do you call it? Mixed media ATC. I think that's the best way. Now I'm going to take the piece of lace. I'm going to put it. Uh, what am I going to do? No, I don't want it all the way. I want it like this. So again, take the piece of release sheet, press that lace in there, and then I'm going to protect this piece like that. Looks interesting, right? <laughs> Get my coffee filter out. And I'm going to use some microfine glitter. This is antique silver. And I'm going to put that on there. Now I need my big brush to get all that off. And some is sticking through the tea bag. I don't mind. You can leave it like this once, no problem. <laughs> that nearly went wrong, <laughs> which would not surprise me. Okay, so now I'm going to polish that. I'm, I thought I was prepared, but I'm not. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm ready. Polish that in. Like that. Now I'm going to peel this off. And I'm going to cover the rest with another color of glitter. It's not going to be a high contrast. This is a light gold. You can leave the black lace on, but I'm just using that as sort of a, how do you call that? Stencil. Not sure this one is going to work because there's not a lot of contrast, as I said. Well, not much. I think I need different colors of, but we'll see. No, need more contrast, but uh, it's giving it nice texture. Now you don't really see the lace. Okay. Oh, I did that not in my coffee filter. Never mind. So, but we're going to make some more, and we're going to use it with a different, uh, different colors. So, on the rest, I want to use some embossing powder, which is the Weathered Gold by Seth Epter. In the end of the day, it's, it's all about creating a nice background. And I like the fact that you can use the, how do you call it, double-sided adhesive as for, for all these different techniques. So whether it's embossing or, yeah, these are fantastic. Now I'm using my slow heat tool because the other ones are packed.
There we go. It works, it just takes a bit longer. You know, in the end of the day, you don't see the uh, pattern of the lace that much. Maybe this lace is not for that, but uh, you do see a different color texture, which is fun. So, this goes quick. Didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to trim this down. You can also take a craft knife and do that. So. There we go. But I do like the different layers on there, you see? I'm not done yet, though. Um, what I'm going to do next to this card, let me see. Yeah, got it. I'm going to go around the edge with my embossing ink, the WOW embossing ink in this case. Because I really want a grungy edge. Did I go all around? I think so. And I've got the set after Rocky Road. Love that stuff. So, and what I'm making today has everything to do with that sneak that I'm going to show in a minute. Now, this is really rocky, as it's called Rocky Road. where it's too much, I'm just brushing it off a bit. There we go, put that goodness back, because this is too good to waste. And I'm going to melt that again. Just going to... I like it there. You see it mixes with the, the gold. It gives it a cool effect. So, that's that one done. Doom, 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 doom. Then I need, what I did, I trimmed out some uh, of these leaves. They are from my second release, almost a year ago already. Wow. That was, uh, these are from the set Ticket to Fly Free. It was one of those days that everything went wrong with cutting and they don't want to come out. Oh well, we'll just put it on like that then, right? Mm. I 
something this way. I'm going to put this one on here, like that. So I'm not going to do much more to this one actually because I love it like it is. So I've got, from my second release, I've got some of the journal phrases here. So let's see, just going to cut these out. Uh, just doesn't need to, do, do, do. I like this one, no time to waste. I just like the different textures it's got. It's really... Right, I need to edge this one a bit. I really like that embossing texture though. So I think I'm going to skip the glitter on the next one because this didn't work that well. And I don't have a really dark glitter for some reason. I have a lot of EZD, but not the really dark glitter. There we go, that fits on there perfectly. Look what I got from Elsa as a present. You know she made that during her life. So I've got an Else original. It's just my glue. I really need to give this a good rinse in the sink the tip. There we go. Didn't want to work with me. There we go. That's my first card done. So what I'm going to do on the back, I've got these elements. They are from the uh, torn set from my last release. And I've got my stamp ready. Um, I'm going to ink that one up. This stamp comes from the A to C special kit. I know a lot of you got that one. I'm just going to put that on there and it fits on this little torn card perfectly. Hi Cindy! It's so sweet of her, I know. She was... There we go, there's my little card done. Just going to edge that a bit. And I'm going to put that to the back. You see how nicely that fits on there. The torn set is really perfect for ATC cards as well. Um, if you like grungy looks, this is you need this one. Fairly. Right way around. Might help, David. There we go. There's the first card. Completely done, right? So, card one, done. Let's go to card number two. There's glitter all over this. So let's, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to skip the glitter. Let me have a look, just quickly. I've got a really dark one, but that's a blue. I don't want blue on there this time. That's me saying that. I don't want blue. 
Okay. Now, and that's the only dark one I've got. So, okay. So, this time I'm gonna do it the other way around, I think. I might use the pinkish one. Just for Femke. I'm going to put that sideways like so. And press that down. Well, I'm not sick, but I'm not well. Let me tell you that, but never mind. That's, uh, I was in a car accident last week, um, and that did not go well. But I'm here, and I'm sort of functioning, so that's the main thing. Let me see, I want... this on that way. And I'm going to use the same embossing powder again because, well, I love that stuff. It was scary, especially because I had Colin in the back of my car and another car crashed into the back of me, so that was a bit not nice. Not nice at all. So my car is now being um, repaired. It takes a, a week. Ridiculous. Colin is fine though. He, uh, he got, he thought all the ambulances, because the people behind me were in a mess, so he thought the police cars and uh, with the sirens and the, the flashing lights and everything, he thought that was fantastic, so he was enjoying that and then there were police officers cuddling him so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i've got a i've got another car and i i will be fine as well it just takes time my neck got a bit uh Bit of a hit. There we go. Well, to be honest, Colin wasn't scared. I was proud of him though. Uh, but yeah, he wasn't scared. Lucky enough, because it could have ruined driving a car for him, but it didn't, so that was good. Mainly the car damage and my neck, which is a, a, a mild whiplash, so that means just with some rest <laughs> uh, and some treatments. Uh, I've been to the therapist twice now and I've got two more appointments next week and then it should be fine. So, I love this one as well, with the, the different, different setup, you see. And I'm going to go around this one again with my embossing ink. It needs a re-inking, re I think, but what I will do, I think I will just, I've got these, 
Let's try. Thank you, guys. Is this doing anything? No. I can never get this to work. OK, it's one of those days. I told you. I told you. I've got this one as well. So let's try that one. So I want to see if I can get a bit more of the rocks to stick. See, you just apply it with the brush. This is from WOW. It's the same embossing ink as in that one. You just apply it in a different way. Sorry, I'm not looking at the comments. I'm missing exactly mine, David and Rust. Rust. I was doing fine uh, when I did the workshop last week, and then the, the Saturday I was already starting to get headache and muscle aches, and then Sunday I sort of collapsed. <laughs> but hey, I'll be fine. Okay, there we go. Let's put some Rocky Road. Ooh, shoot. That's not good. Empty. <laughs> but, luckily enough, it fell on top of this card. Now I'm throwing everything. Oh dear, it's one of those days, I told you. But I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to put that over here, because that's where it's going to go anyway. Bear with me, just doing <laughs> damage control. Welcome to my world. That's the benefit of lives. You can't cut it out. <laughs> there we go. That's enough. No, here in, uh, here in town, I was standing still waiting for a uh, roundabout. And uh, somebody collapsed. Well, several cars. So it wasn't just me, luckily just because someone wasn't paying attention. That's always the, the downside, right? Thank you, Fena. Thank you, Mayna. As, as I said, Friday wasn't too bad. S symptoms for whiplash take a couple of days. Um, but I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. The, nothing serious. It's not that bad. Uh, I can still function. I can still do things. I just need to take it slow at times and, well. Okay, let's melt that one. But it worked. What I wanted to achieve is that I had a bit more of the rocks on there. So let's melt these. Well, about 70 kilometers, 60, 70. Let's do it this way, because then I don't burn my fingers. There we go. This is such cool stuff that Rocky wrote. It's funny because I was watching a video the other day from Seth Epter and he said it's called baked texture, so bake it. <laughs> so that's what I did, Seth. Look, you really see the grunge and the rocks in there. So that one is done. So I'm going to take my second leave, see if I can get this one out a bit better.
Oh, there we go. Doing it like this works better. Okay. This um, leaf is also from that same set. So curious about the little sneak peek? There we go. And I don't mind that, that it has some of the things in there still. I think that looks cool. So let's put that right there. Love it. Just clean off my fingers. I know you're nosy. <laughs> you guys are a nosy bunch and I love it. Let me see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do that one. Well, when uh, I started doing ADCs, I was looking into storage solutions and I really did not like the solutions that were there because they're too big for me. You know, um, when I'm on the go, I don't want to be carrying a big binder, right? Am I alone in that or are there more? I have to wait until I stick this one down. Yeah, that could be fun. Love this. Here we've got two cool ATC cards already. Exactly, you can't throw them in your bag, Robin. You can't throw them in your bag. So, um, wouldn't it be handy if you have a little journal that you can throw in your bag that can carry up to 48 ATC cards? Wouldn't that be cool? Something like this? And if you get a little button with that? Wouldn't that be cool? That's fun, right? Then you've got but not just to carry it around. Also, if you just make ATCs for yourself, as I tend to do because I don't have time to trade, um, you can store them in there yourself. And uh, we've got, it's a fun little journal, it's a square size, um, but then it's got a way bigger binder so you can actually fold it around. Uh, and in there we've got little thingies to hold your a to C cards. So that was the sneak. Well, fairly sneak. You've seen it all now. Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> That's, um, I will do a proper show until Saturday morning, actually. Saturday morning, uh, Esther and myself will go live from the fair to um, uh, introduce the things we have to introduce. So I said that in a very polite, correct, politically correct way. I just had a stamp, right? Here it is. <laughs> so cool, right? Do you love it? That's going to be in the middle of the night for you, uh, Belinda. Uh, that's going to be about 9.30ish in the morning here, just before they open. So, mm, other way around. But you can always watch back, Belinda. That's not an issue. Yes, actually, um, both of the things we're launching, 
um, are going to be for sale starting Saturday. Not just at the fair, not just at Art Specialty, but also in all stores. So all stores will have it available Saturday morning. So that's pretty cool. It's a really cool little journal to bring with you and to, yeah. And to store your ATC cards in there as well, because it is, I'm forgetting to edge, David, because I'm talking. And I'm a man, I can't do, th can't do two things at the same time. Yeah, you can, you can buy it on Saturday. Especially, uh, I know for a fact that uh, where I'm standing with Esther, well, Esther's not gonna be on Saturday, but Saturday where I am, that shop has them because I've got them in my car for the, st for the store, so. And other stores will definitely have them there as well. I'm sure of it. There we go. So that's two done. Hi Paula. Okay, let's quickly do one more because you've, you've seen how it works. So I don't have to explain it in detail. So yes, it's going to be, yeah, there will be enough ons. And if not, it will definitely be, we have more than enough. If they have enough at the fair, I don't have a glass bowl, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got enough. And if not, it'll be for sale for a long time. Right, I'm gonna go back to my brownish tone, I think. Absolutely. Oh yeah, you don't have to, I mean, you don't have to use it for ADCs alone. There's a lot of things you can use it for. I mean, like these are little pieces of art, but if you put a picture on, so, mm, where's my book paper? Let me put that one there. Now what I'm thinking, this one has a part glitter. This one has part uh, completely embossing, part glitter, part embossing powder. powder. Talking is hard. This one's got complete embossing powder. Let's go to complete glitter on this one. And then I'm going, just going to use the silver one, the antique silver, because I like that look. So, I like that, I like that. Then I'm going to polish that. Uh, as well. But it's also a very, very beautiful color and a great quality. It's a great, yeah, it's a fun, fun journal. I mean, fun texture as well. Really soft sort of, of course it's not leather, but you know what I mean. So, 
So, yeah, looking good. It's, it's really fun, but simple. And these tea bags are so handy. So don't throw away your tea bags. If you drink tea, don't throw them away. If you don't drink tea, buy these ones. I b got mine from the supermarket. There we go. Then I'm going to go around again with this stuff. Um, I'm going to try that next week, Wednesday. Um, Yvonne, next week's Wednesday, I'm live at Elizabeth Craft Designs and I'm going to em emboss one and I'm going to decorate one. So, that's going to be fun. So, I'm just putting on that embossing ink. Using the brush, using my finger, it's all good. But I'm pretty sure you can emboss it, to be honest, because it's the same material. That's why I'm not afraid to try it live. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I love the organic look this, this powder gives. Grunge to the max. There we go. Exactly, I don't drink tea. Um, I just used the, the stir sprays to color the tea bag. So, I love the texture. That's fairly what it is. So I'm gonna put that in my little glass container again and melt it. Can you see it? That's better, right? And you can see it. I made it pink especially for you, Femke. Fruity. Fruity tea. I mean, if you have blueberry tea and you've got the good quality, then it's got blueberry in it and it will give you blue bags. You can do it with the stress inks. Just press them on your workstation and swipe it through. There we go. Now that's hot, David, so don't burn your fingers. Such a cool texture this gives. Love that. Right. So I've got another one somewhere. Somewhere here. Now let me get these thingies out. Well, you know what? I'm not going to be bothered. I'm not mad at it. Um, I want this one to come that way. Right there. And phrasing of a phrase. Ah, back in time. No, dreams. I like dreams.
So, put that there. Stamp out that center, the background. Pick raspberry it is. Pick raspberry and then I, but because I mixed it with brown, it toned it down. And it's then the oxide and that's a bit softer as well. Almost, yes. There we go. Put that on. Oh, but it's also toned down a lot because I combined it with brown. That's why it's not recognizable anymore as picked raspberry. There we go. There we have it. Three. Let me clean up my mess. <laughs> Close this. There we go. Three fun little ATC cards. And I love the grunge and the texture and the different textures in there with the embossing powder. And I will come back to the lace technique, but this is just too thin, I think, to give a, a real pattern. But I'll come back to that, experiment with that a bit more. So yeah, this is it. Stamps on the back, ready to trade. Well, I don't want to part with them, but I like them too much myself. So they're going to go in my second booklet because, well, this one's full. Um, so, yeah, cool little button, I think. Hmm. Like that. Good. Uh, thank you, guys. Let me switch the cameras around. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you had fun. I'm going to pack everything up because tomorrow we're going to set up the fair. So that's going to be, uh, I don't have time to do that tomorrow. So I have to finish packing up. You, everything I used fairly now is going to go into the car. And if you are at Art Specialty, I'm looking forward to seeing you all Saturday or Sunday. If not, I will see you Wednesday, maybe at Elizabeth Craft Designs, and otherwise next Thursday live here again. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you then. Bye.